Hello, hello, hello everyone. Welcome back to another live stream. It's Sunday night and we're back with some more Broken Sword 3. The Sleeping Dragon. I actually forgot what it, was, what it was called then for a second. The Sleeping Dragon. We have not met a dragon yet. It has not been asleep. Hello, Joe! I don't know what's going on with this game, but I think there's a chance. There's a chance. I don't know how big of a chance, but there is a chance we can complete this game tonight. I think we've only got a couple more hours of content in this game. Now, the question is, would it take me a couple of hours to do it? Probably not. Probably. Let's double that. <laughs> Let's triple that. I don't know. But I would like to finish this game because I'm sort of reaching that point where I'm like, eh, let's move on. I've had enough of this now. And it's not, I think I spoke about this last time. It's okay. It's okay. It's not great. It's fine, I think, at the moment. I wouldn't say the puzzles have been amazing. I wouldn't say the characters have been very memorable. Not like some of the previous games, anyway. So yeah, I'm kind of I'm kind of keen to move on at this stage, I think. Anyway. Oh. Well, hidely ho, neighborino. Hi, <laughs> diddly ho. Uh Super Flash. Good evening. Hello there. Uh Aula Nevermore, hello. Uh I was hoping there'll be a stream getting a better data plan next week, so I got data to burn. Burn, baby, burn. Put this on the highest quality. Joe, I'll stream in hello, 1440p Joe. just for you. No, it's fine. Uh, Max, hello. Welcome. Right. Um, I don't really think there's much to talk about before we get into the, into the game. Let's just get on with this. I don't think there is. I'm just trying to think. <laughs> you have to forgive me. Today, I'm not feeling too good today. <laughs> uh, I had a little bit too much to drink last night, and I've been feeling it. Pretty much the whole day. So if my brain is not very good and I'm not working out puzzles, that's why. I'm going to use that as an excuse and I'm going to need your help. All right? Deal? Deal. Great. Let's, um, let's get the game up, shall we? I don't even know. Is it going to work? Oh, the chat box. <laughs> The chat box, that was from when I was helping Tom. Hang on. <laughs> ah, it's all freaking out. Oh, what is that on the screen? That's creepy. Sorry, that was a little text box I was doing to help Tom. Uh, remove that. Okay. Back onto the game. There we are. Why am I streaming? Because I like to stream. Streaming's fun. But uh, yeah, just better when you're not hungover. Anyway, there's a g -g 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 ghost. Why is, a, why is the sound gone for you, game? There we are. So we're playing as George in what looks like a laundry room or somewhere. I don't quite remember how we got here. I remember we were playing as Nico. We were disguising ourselves as Petra the evil lady, the evil blonde lady who tried to kill us. Then we we went into that little room to get our star, our card validated. And then was it around there when the game switched to George? I think it was. I don't think anything happened with Nico. We didn't get captured again. I think it just cut to George. So yeah, here we are. We sort of went separate ways. Um... And we're here. Was it a cliffhanger? I really can't remember that at all. That's so bad. Oh, that's right. We came through the window and we landed on the, the pile of laundry. I knew that stealing putrid socks wouldn't solve anything. You could use them as a weapon, maybe. Surprise stinky sock in the face. Or maybe like a chloroform rag. But just use a stinky sock in, instead, maybe. No? I'm trying to think outside the box here, George. I'm trying to help you. Uh, anything else I can look at here? No? 
The game is haunted because we keep you. No, the ho... no. She's not haunting us. <laughs> Although she could. I think someone said, hey, as if she got caught, but it cut to George. Oh, wow, okay. My memory. <laughs> hey, Dennis, have I used chloroform often? Um, Back in the day. Back in the day, you know. I don't do that stuff anymore. Oh, wow, look at these gigantic barrels of detergent, I'm assuming. Somebody in this castle had a serious washing powder fixation. My old Navy SEALs manual had a special section, assessing enemy strength, utilizing captured washing powder drums. Shame I couldn't remember the equation. What a shame. What a shame. It's okay, folks. So I've got my cup of tea. I feel like even in light of my, of my current state of mind, I should be able to do this. We are gonna, we're going to find the dragon power. We're going to save the world once again. And maybe, you know, after saving the world for the third time, Maybe we'll get some sort of recognition. That would be nice, wouldn't it? I couldn't hear any movement coming from behind the door. Well, then let's go. The door was locked. Okay, of course. This was beginning to feel more and more like a prison. There had to be some way of opening the door. I thought he was going to say something else then. Like, this is beginning to feel more and more stupid about the amount of doors that I come across that are locked. Uh, what have we got for items then? Piece of string, the control, the stones. Can we use the car jack handle? No way was I doing that. Okay. Can we use the pants? No. All right, okay. Let's have another look around then. That's how we came in. Dirty washing machine. Oh, hang on. Oh. <laughs> That's no washing machine. That's a crate in disguise. Oh, okay. Where are we taking this? Where do we even need to go? We need to go out. Uh. Where are we going to move that to? Oh, wait. Can I... Can I move this? Oh! It was an old trolley. It looked as if it hadn't been used for years. Oh, ouch. Okay, that didn't work. Oh, I see what we need to do. We need some weight behind it. Like a washing machine. Potential stalkers of muck. No down. Muck doesn't lock doors. You say that, but I actually do have a bad habit of forgetting to lock, not lock the door, because the door locks by itself, but basically double lock it. You know, when you double lock the door so you can't even move the handle. I do have a nasty habit of forgetting to do that, but still, because you still can't get in, the door's still locked, so don't even try. You're wasting your time. Go and stalk. Um... The washing machine slid sweetly onto the trolley. Sweetly. That's a strange word. Go and stalk. Mm. <laughs> should we, I should be careful here what I say <laughs> on Twitch. Don't stalk no one. Don't be a stalker. That's, that's the better option. Well, here goes. <gasps> yes. Yes. Okay, great. Is it just me or does George get dumber every game? I definitely think... I don't know if it's about George. I think the puzzles themselves have got a bit dumber. I think. I don't know. I say that and then there was that one stream I spent an hour on one puzzle. But... I do think some of the puzzles from the older games are a bit more... Um, I don't know. Just a bit more interesting, really. Okay, so where are we? What are these strange little rooms? <laughs> you don't go in through the door. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm even worse of windows, to be fair. 
Is this quiet? Is this too quiet? I don't know. I feel like it's very quiet. Let's turn it up a wee bit. There we go. Just a wee bit. Oh, this, this is seeming a bit maze-like, this area. I couldn't hear anything. Ah, oh, it was no use. The door was shut tight. If only I had the key card to open it. Is this going to be the key card that Nico has? Um. Oh, that's right, because we went down here, and then that's when... Yes, it's coming back to me now, because we're looking for Bruno. Take that, you! Oh, why you? George? Who? It's me, Nico. Jeez, I thought you were Petra. Hmm. Often sneak up on girls like that, do you? Only blondes. So it's true. They do have more fun. Hang on to the wig and find out. Trailer trash chic. Not really my style. Ouch. So how come you're down here? Did you notice the extra security? I'm guessing that Bruno must be close. So what are we waiting for? Reunited once again. <laughs> I must have said before, but the icons in the bottom right, if there was another eye on the left hand one, it really would look like the face you can make with the emojis with the big eyes. <laughs> the eyes, lips and an eye emoji. Uh, hey Joe, just wanted to stop by and say hi. Just finished a 10 hour night shift. It's currently 4.35 a.m. Hope the stream is going well. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Go and have a nice break and re relaxation after your night shift. Um, right. Are you just going to follow me, Nico? Let's grab this. Can we, can we use this? No. Nope. Where did we come from? I think I'm going back from right here. Oh, wait, hang on. Is he in there? That's where he's not. Oh no, but Nico has the key card, so we can go in that room now. If I don't... I mean, I think you're right, Super Flash. Movement in this game is enough of a puzzle. Can you... can you do that, please? Ah, oh, it was no use. The door was shut tight. If only I had the key card to open No, no, it. no, don't, don't walk off, Nico. I, I need... <laughs> um... Excuse me. Can you? Hey, Nico. Yes, George? Can you, uh... No? So, did you find Bruno? No. I don't know where he could be. The guards in the entrance hall said that he had been moved to Cesaro's office. Down here somewhere. Yeah, probably in this big locked room, right? So, if you could just come back here, I can ask you to do this, maybe. Can I just... Uh, how do I do this again? Oh, maybe I can't do that. Maybe that's not the right answer. Let's go back this way then. Maybe down here? The fact that Nico walked around and was seen by the same guards that didn't recognise her with a wig on makes me wonder if George... Slapped the wig on with the... <laughs> well, George doesn't even even need the wig. He's already blonde. <laughs> Maybe he just needs to grow his hair out a little bit longer. Is that a door? All right, this is just a dead end. Great. Okay, that's the room I... Oh, I'm getting lost. Out my way, please. Aha. Right, there's my there's my washing machine door opener. That's the first one I checked. Okay, it's got to be this. It's got to be the key card. So Nico looked just like Petra. You know, it's a tacky outfit, but 
You look okay in it. Oh, thanks. Some guys just know how to compliment a lady, I guess. Maybe I should just try the other one. Hey, Nico. Yes, George? I have to admit, the blonde hair is a bit strange. Oh, really? Nobody said anything. That's because the outfit's so scary. They're all terrified of you. Nope. All right, then. I know. I know. And the thing is, like, we were in her room, so we could have probably got her clothes. There was that big chest full of her clothes. But no, just the wig. Just the wig's enough. Wait, this is the way we just... No, 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 no. Let's go up this way, maybe. Damn! What are you doing? Shh! Guards! They're guarding a door over there. That's got to be where Bruno is. I could get past, but you would be shot if you tried. You need to find a way to fool them. Oh, so you... What? Can't... Just let me play as Nico. Hey, Nico. Yes, George? Guard. I can't get past the guard dressed like this. I could pretend that you are my prisoner. Too risky. Oh, I really... I thought that it was going to happen then. It's going to be like, give me the wig. <laughs> give me the wig. I can do it. I can be Petra. Uh, so if we can't walk past... I couldn't pass the guards looking like this. Looking like this. What does that mean? That does, that does suggest that we have to kind of disguise ourselves to some extent. Oh, we can use Nico. Oh, I see. That's kind of a bit weird, but <laughs> we can we can do that on the door, I guess. Uh And then that one? Hey Nico, can you do something with this lock? Through Nico. I don't have anything to open it. Where would you be without me, George? I don't know. Probably at home, just relaxing. Oh, is this a... Can I, can I get a guard disguise, maybe? I feel like I'm Hitman now. Well, this should help me move around more easily. Nico, could you turn your back, please? You are joking. I know, but it's these shorts. Not very flattering. Oh, fine. Quickly, get it over and done with. There, changed. Oh, you look nice. I bet you say that to all the guards. Ah, oh. we look like James Bond now. We look like Daniel Craig. And isn't there a... is it no time to die? He had an outfit a bit like this. Um, I'm just making that up completely, probably. So, I guess now we can just walk past, right? Yep. There's nothing else in here. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go find Bruno. Let's go find Dragon Power. Let's go find the Sleeping Dragon. Let's go save the world. And kill Susaru, obviously. Right. Here goes. Madame Petra, I wasn't informed you were back. As you can see, I am. And this is urgent. I ought to check with the front desk. You are holding me up. Now, unless you want your appendages rearranging, I suggest you open the door. Of course, ma'am. My apologies. Go, Nico. Remember that Nico flashed the puzzle in the last game, mooning the girl. <laughs> there should be some equality in this game, but... No, all the attention's on Nico. Actually, that's not true. I think more attention is on George, to be honest. I don't know how much in terms of the gameplay split, but it's felt like we've played more as George than as Nico. I couldn't hear anything behind the door, probably because it was about five inches thick and made of toughened steel. Is it, is it open, at least? I didn't have the code to open the door, and I didn't want to risk raising the alarm. Okay, okay, Nico... That wouldn't work here. Oh. Damn. 
Daniel Craig doesn't count. Oh, I'm afraid he does. That's that's the thing that got Daniel Craig in. Uh, that was the stuff that happened when he was first announced as Bond. It was all about a blonde, James Bond. James Blonde, we can't have that. I mean, it's not bright blonde anyway. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, of course. Of course. Oh, there's so many of them. Do we actually need to make like a little pyramid or something? I think I can hear Bruno in the next room. Actually, let's just go have a look before we carry on. Oh, wait, that was the way we came. Hang on. I'm getting confused. Oh, no, that is that door. That's that's the room. To I see, I see, I see, I see. Right. So, yeah, we definitely need to go in there. But how are we going to get up there, eh? Can we push this one? Hmm. On the subject of James Bond, uh, last stream I mentioned about there being a Bond concert at the uh, Royal Albert Hall in October, the sound of 007. It's going to have Shirley Bassey and Garbage. And... <laughs> I just realised, if you don't know who Garbage is, it just sounds like I'm just saying there'll be Shirley Bassey and loads of rubbish <laughs> on the stage. No, uh, the band Garbage. Um, and... I did indeed manage to get tickets. Now, let me tell you something, though. Moaning time. As per usual, time to moan. Does anyone else just hate the experience buying tickets for things online? I suppose... This was going to be a very popular event, because obviously there's lots of James Bond fans. It's a one-night thing only. This was the only thing you could go to for it. Uh, so in that... Because of that, it was going to be busier and obviously harder to get seats and things. But even for just other bits as well. Buying tickets online and looking at like a seating plan, it's so stressful. So tickets open for this Bond thing. 10am Monday morning, right? And I was there. 9.59, I was there ready to refresh the page. And um, I did, right? I had it there. The thing is, is that they didn't, they didn't tell you how much tickets will cost until you're actually looking at the screen. So I suddenly realized like, oh crap, the seats I had in mind, way too expensive, way too expensive. Um, so what I had to do was sort of last minute panic about where I should sit instead in the cheaper seats not really knowing what would be a good view or a good angle. And it was just, it was just a mess, right? So I was there looking at that, trying to look at some pictures online of the view. By the time I'd done that, which was only like, I don't know, four or five minutes, bang. Like the front row, the front row of the cheaper, uh, cheaper seats, all gone, all gone. So <laughs> I was like, then I was like in a super panic mode. I was like, right, these ones will do like the second row back. At least then you won't have that many people in front of you. Uh, went to go buy them. Oh no, error with your basket, refresh the page. Refresh the page, another 50% of that row had gone. Oh, it's awful. It was just awful. I think everyone should be in a virtual queue and <laughs> you get you get your one shot. First come, first serve. But no, of course not. That's never gonna work. Um It's just annoying though. Right, I need to I know what I need to do. I need to push this one over. It's just annoying. I mean, I, the seats I got, uh, they're still okay. Um, they're still okay, but it's just... Yeah, just that, that, that panic, it just makes you do things. Right, so we need to get this one over there, which means I need to basically keep juggling the crates. Can I push this one? I can't push that one. Um, that's all right, I'll just pull it instead then. 
Speaking of Bond, is there any news on the 007 game from Hitman developers? I don't think there is. I, I think it might be quite a long... Oh, Nico's stretcher. I think it'll be quite a long time until we hear something about that, sadly. Only because... I think the last time they said anything, it was basically like, this is what we're working on. And then I'm pretty sure at some point they also said when they had uh, job openings to come and work for it. And, and that's quite telling if they're still looking for staff to make the game. <laughs> Probably quite far away. It was unnecessarily confusing to buy them, though. The fact it's a weekday. And not... Yeah. The, the tickets weren't cheap, and it was a bit cheeky to make them so expensive. So my tickets were uh, £70 each. Oh, I need to put another one there just because then I can put it across. That's frustrating. No, I can't do that, though, because there's... Wait, I need to put one here so I can stand and push it. Okay. Oh, I can push it from the bottom. Oh, I can push it from... Oh, thank you, Dennis. Right, good point. Put that one back. Uh, yeah, so £70 each. And it's for, like... I mean, it's, like, it's, it's pretty much the worst seats you can get at the Royal Albert Hall. I think there are standing seats but that you, you can't buy those um and i don't think they're even selling them for that night and the ones that i really wanted oh no 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 don't, don't climb i want to push they were 120 pounds per seat can you push that please there we are 120 pounds per ticket and i just because i was getting two uh, two seats I couldn't afford that. It's that bloody Shirley Bassey. She wants loads of money, I swear. Okay. I think we're done. Finally. Nico. Keep quiet and come and look at this. It's Bruno. I don't think there's anyone in there with him. Can we risk it? We've got to. Hey, Bruno. Bruno, it's Nico. And George. Hey, fellas. Nice of you to drop by. Are you okay? Oh, sure. Fellas. I'm thirsty. I'm hungry. I'm in constant pain. I've had more electricity through me than a small town in winter. But heck, now you're here. Who gives a damn? You're so brave. Lady, I grew up in Eastern Europe. We did torture in kindergarten. Have you told them anything? Everything. But the one thing Susaro wants. And what's that? Who has got the key of Solomon? But we don't know who's got it. Exactly. Well, it doesn't matter now. We're coming in to... Shh. That was the gatehouse. Petra has arrived at last. I am so pleased for you. Thank you. I find torture such a soulless task without an audience. Oh, I know. And she is so imaginative. Such a source of new ideas. I appreciate that. Yes, Bruno, I truly believe you will. Why is he so blue? And look on the bright side. When you tell us who has the key, even then we will not kill you. We need you too much. Is he a Na'vi? My dear girl. Has he talked yet? No, but I'm sure you will persuade him. I'm going to enjoy it. Now, Stobart and the girl. I hope you bring me good news. I found them, but I'm afraid they got away. I'm sorry. They have too much luck. That is worse, Master. Let him in. All right, boss. Not this idiot. Forgive me, sir, but there is something you must hear. Flap, 
Tell Senor Suzaro what you told me in Paris. What? About that nightclub? And those girls? No, no, no. About the safe. Oh, yeah. Well, it wasn't, was it? Wasn't what? Wasn't safe. Get on with it, Flap. That Stobart girl. She came back to the theater. Took some documents. What documents? A picture of a castle in Prague. This castle. Very good. Give the man a cigar. Flap. Well, sorry, sir. Wait. What is that? Do you like it? It's my new scarf. That Stobart girl left it behind in Paris. What is it? You can go, Flap. Get out. Thank you, sir. Well, Bruno, it's your lucky day. Now I know who has the key. We do not need to put Petra to work on you. You know? How? The emblem on the scarf. It is the crest of the St. Stephen chapter of the Knights Templar. I thought they had disappeared centuries ago. Clearly not. And I know exactly where to find them. That fool Flap had the answer all along, wrapped round his thick neck. Collard must be working for them. So, now we must change our plans. I shall go to Paris to retrieve the key. You take Ostwald to the armillary to prepare. Give the order that all personnel are to prepare to move out. It's time, isn't it? Yes, my dear. It is time. Okay, then. Back to Paris. Back to Paris, I guess. Um, he does, he's... I will say, like... The voice acting in these games have been a bit hit and miss sometimes with the accents and whatnot. I think he's got a really good voice. It's a very good creepy creepiness to it. Um, I think it's quite a good design, actually. He does look a lot like Richard O'Brien, though, to me, especially with a hat. I think, he, I think Richard O'Brien wears a hat exactly like that. Um, I just watched Dr. No and have a drink on the night and said, I think that's a good idea. It's a lot cheaper, too. <laughs> I am looking forward to it, though. I know I was just moaning about finding tickets and stuff, but I found tickets. I'm happy with the seats. Um, and I think it's going to be... I think it's going to be fun. I, I'll get to meet Tom, hopefully. Honest Tom. Um, we will try and meet up beforehand and have a drink. And, uh, yeah, like I said, it, I think it might be a lot... Like, I don't know... I never really planned to, to want to see Shirley Bassey sing the Bond songs, but this is got to be one of the last chances I could possibly have to do that. And she's so iconic with the series. So that's good. I like that. Okay, then. What are we doing now, then? Do I still need to look in there, or are we done? The grill looked through to some kind of office. It could give access if the grill itself wasn't in the way. The grill was screwed tight to the wall. I wasn't going to be able to pull it off with my hands. Okay. Uh, Nico, help me. I needed to get the grill open. Okay. Then let's use... Probably, what's the car? Have we still got the car jack? Yes. Now that wasn't quite right. That wasn't quite right, though, Joe. No, no, no. What else have we got? Pants. Piece of string. I don't know. It's screwed in, so that would imply that we need a screwdriver or a coin. The edge of the coin was just the right size to unfasten the screws. There we are. I'm sure that was a puzzle before, using a uh, coin for a screwdriver. I couldn't get through the narrow gap. Um, George, when I first knew you, that would have been no problem. Guess I must be carrying a little more muscle, huh? <laughs> yeah, the fat kind. Okay. Look, whatever I said about you in that wig, I apologize. Apology accepted. Phew. Won't make you any thinner, though. <laughs> Bit harsh, really. George looks at that. 
Now you say it, and maybe they have made him a little bit podgier. I don't know. Anyway, are you going to go through there or not? Come on. Uh, Nico? Yes? I don't like to ask, but... Amazing. You read my mind. You're just so predictable, George. Nico just went a little bit mute. She got shy. Camera shy. You owe me one. That's okay. I'm not counting. Okie dokie then. So what, is this door open now? Yes. Let's go in. Nico, look! Did they oh, they took Bruno away, didn't they? It's some kind of map of ley lines. See the area in the middle? It matches the diagram in Vernon's video. It seems to have its focus somewhere in Egypt. So do you think that's where they've taken Bruno? Oh, I think so. The armillary must be in Egypt. Well, that should be easy enough to find. Sure. I mean, how big can a country be? Oh, we're going to go to Egypt. I'd rather go there than back to Paris again. Cesaro and Petra had left through some kind of passage behind that panel. There had to be a release somewhere. Oh, the old pull a book secret door trick. The desk was too heavy to move. And besides, we needed to find a way to follow after Bruno. Cesaro's desk was straight out of the megalomaniac catalog. Aha! Look at this. What is it? Secret button hidden under the edge of the desk. Maybe it opens the door. Uh, well, actually, before we do that, what's this thing on the desk? Have a little look at that. That looks important. Books on Egypt and Egyptian culture. It would take months to trawl through this and decipher it all. We haven't got months. I'm too lazy to read. I would never be able to fit into that armor. In any case, what good would it do me if I could? They do have quite a cool logo. I know they're evil, but still. It is quite cool looking. I imagined myself taking them with me, but then I thought better of it. All right, let's try and use this. Oh, hang on. The very big comfy looking chair is in the way. So are those ones. Let's use the button then. If the world ends when I press this, then I'm sorry for all the nasty things I've ever said about you. George, just get on with it. Okay, sorry. Well done, George. Let's go and rescue Bruno. Out of interest, what nasty things? Oh, you know, the usual. The usual? Go on. Nah, I'd rather not. Let's not get into this now. <laughs> Let's go. Andre, what are you doing here? I uh, thought I'd keep Beatrice company. Andre took me to the cinema. What did you see, Nosferatu? George. Andre, we need your help. Of course. What do you want him to do? That symbol on the scarf? Yes. Cesaro recognized it instantly. It's the coat of arms of the St. Stephen chapter of the Templars. My God. What? I always thought it was just a story. Look, Andre, tell us what you know. Tell us, Sherry. The St. Stephen chapter was reputed to have escaped the Inquisition by hiding in secret chambers. Somewhere in Paris. No one knew where, though previously they had their base near the old church at Montfaucon. Maybe I can find a clue in the old Templar meeting place. What do you mean? The Templars used to meet in secret in the catacombs there. Of course. There's more. Go on. It involves the founding of the chapter. We don't have time for tales, Andre. Listen, Nico. If there's one thing I've come to realize, it's that you can't have too much information. Carry on, Andre. Thank you, Georges. <laughs> when the Templars were in possession of the Temple Mount in Israel, they discovered a holy relic. 
A young knight, Stéphane, was given the task of transporting it secretly to France. He traveled north through Galilee and then headed to the coast where he boarded a ship destined for the river Po. Well, Making his way up the Po Valley, <laughs> Stéphane avoided known dangers to the west by heading north to the Rheingau. Pursued into France by the forces of a treasure hunting prince, he was forced to make a stand in the mountains of Reims. Though able to dispose of his foes, he was fatally wounded. Bravely, he continued to his destination, the Berentoir Preceptory, handed the relic to the master of the chapter, then died. The order changed his name to Saint Stéphane, in honor of the brave knight, and relocated to Paris. It's like a fairy tale. Good grief. I'm going to head for Montfaucon to look for clues. Nico? You go without me, George. Andre and I will see if we can work out the exact location in Egypt. Right. Well, um, I'll see you soon then. Off you go, George. Oh, okay. It wouldn't be a broken sword game without a massive bit of exposition. <laughs> I was back in Montfaucon Square after all these years. Oh. Beneath the cobbles lay a hidden world of ancient waterways and catacombs, some of it built by the Knights Templar as a meeting place and sanctuary. Once again, I was going to have to go down there to discover the truth. Look everyone, we're back here. But this time it's 3D. Here's the calf where we spoke to the guys. Wasn't there like a policeman there for a while? Uh, and then the, the jongler. Where's the jongler gone? He went down there, didn't he? I couldn't lift a big iron cover like that with my bare hands. Also, sad to see. Looks like the cafe didn't do too well. Oh, what does it say? On the boarded up door was a notice. Due to local seismic events and out of concern for the safety of our patrons, we will be closed for the foreseeable future. Oh, okay. Well, good for them, I suppose. I thought they'd be just shut down because of uh, bad business or something. I didn't want the notice and I didn't want to break into the cafe. Fine. So there's the big Montfaucon. <gasps> can we go down there? What's that? Oh, it's a boulangerie. I bet we can't, can we? No, I wasn't leaving here until I had something to show for it. It doesn't look the same, does it? It just, uh, it, it looks fine. It looks fine. It's recognizable, but just... It loses something when you've got such flat textures and, and things. Hey, you! I'd seen dead people with more life in them than this guy. Is there someone in there? Or is he talking to this guy? Uh, I'm going to turn this off. Oh, there is a guy in there that is just passed out. Um, and then whilst he's doing that, oh, he's ditched it. <laughs> Bye then. Hey, Alphonse, what do you think you're doing, idiot? While the workman was looking the other way, I <laughs> borrowed his sewer key. Funny, every time I get involved in saving the world, I turn into a kleptomaniac. Especially with underwear. Look, Alphonse, I am tired of arguing with you. Just be sure it doesn't happen again, huh? Why would you not check the thing it's plugged into first? <laughs> Silly Frenchman. Okay, can I, uh, can I get down here now? You're going to give me a hot spot on this? There we go. Sewer key. With only the faintest shudder of deja vu, I prepared once again to get intimate with the Parisian sewers. <laughs> Come on, you piece of... I couldn't understand it. I'd once lifted this very manhole easily. Perhaps I'd let myself go. Hey, monsieur. That's not my sewer key by any chance. No, 
What do you take me for? You just happen to carry one around with you. Of course. Doesn't everybody? Sure. Anyway, you're wasting your time. That cover was welded down years ago, during the Sieur Jacques panic. Great. If I wanted to shift that cover, it'd take something a whole bunch stronger than me. Oh, I wonder what that could be. Uh, okay. Let's go and mess around again with someone's tools. Oh, no. Why are you going that way for, George? So what do we need to do? Maybe turn it off again and he gets really angry and chucks it away I left or it alone. There's only so much fun you can have with a compressor. Oh. Excuse me. I know you're really busy, but I need your help. Hi. How you doing? <laughs> Ça va. As long as we don't have another earthquake. Well, you should be safe here, by the old church. You're joking. Look at it. But it's medieval. Medieval? Shoddy, you mean. Should be torn down and replaced with something modern. Really? Something nice in concrete and steel. Built to be earthquake-proof. You think there's going to be more quakes? Of course. And look at all that rubble. The thing's a death trap. Wait a minute. You seem very familiar to me, monsieur. Me? Oh, I doubt it. But of course. You're the guy who gave me that racing tip. Oh, uh, right. So I am. That horse made a fortune for me. Turned my whole life around. Guess I'm just a natural. It's a gift, monsieur. A gift. But how come you're still digging up roads? I've got my own company now, monsieur. And a drill. See? Not a pick. If you have any more tips like that one... You'll be the first to know. Am I supposed to remember this guy? I don't remember him at all. Better call Andre. Oh. I kind of I kinda have to agree. Um, Out on Nevermore. It, like, why are we going back to Templar stuff? I don't understand. I thought we were... I thought we were done with that. I mean, it's, it's kind of... It's a bit of a nice novelty to go back to some of the old locations and see him again. But I was never a big fan of the, the Knights of Templar plot in the first place. I thought it was a bit messy. Um, so, yeah, I'm a little bit like, oh. Back again. Back again here. He was right at the start of the first one. You got the sewer key from him after you gave him the horse tip. Oh, so he is from the first... I did think, considering we're back here, does that mean that, we, you know, it was someone we've seen in the older games really, really long ago? Okay. Hello, by the way, Wills. Um, yeah, well, good for him. <laughs> Flobage. What exactly are you doing here? These damned earthquakes are screwing everything up. There's plenty of stuff underground that needs fixing after that last shock. So you're digging a hole for the utilities guys to get to the damage? That's it. And the sooner we're out of here, the happier I'll be. You said we. I don't see anybody else working. My workmate, Alphonse, is snoring up a storm in the cab of my truck. Why isn't he helping you? Medical exemption. He's got a piece of paper from his doctor saying he is clinically seismophobic. He's afraid of earthquakes? Just so, monsieur. And you believe it? You can't argue with a piece of paper, can you? Ooh. That's a creepy little headshot. I mean, if you can get away with that, then I'm going to say that I'm scared of computers and I can't work. And I have to sleep instead. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, my boss. I can't I can't work today. I'm too scared. So how did you end up with this Alphonse guy? Positive discrimination. We have to take on a set number of cowardly idiots every year. Alright, well, thanks for that. Nice knowing what you're up to. Uh let's go maybe talk to Alphonse. Actually, I doubt we can. Can we do anything? Can we... Hey, you! Hey, you! Hey, you! Hey, you! Hey, you! Hey, you! Mm, that's not working. That's not working. Just, just constantly shouting at him. Have we got some sort of horn? 
or siren or bell or whistle. I don't know. No, I don't think we do. Uh, okay. Tom, hello, welcome. You've joined me here back in Parry. Just like before. Oh, there's an old lady. Maybe she can help me. Hello. What are, you, are you old or you, what? Who are you? A little old lady was sitting by the urinal, or pissoir, as the French call them. I guessed she was some kind of concierge. Oh. That's a bit weird. Can I go for a wee? Oh, I think I can. <clears throat> now wash your hands. <laughs> okay. Okay, anything you say, little old lady. I heard the whistling. I didn't actually hear him go for a wee. Do you think he just mimed it? Is anyone else getting PE excuse note for... Oh, man. I used to... Get, I constantly used to get out of playing rugby. Constantly. With that exact, you know, the, the bit of paper saying that I was, I was not feeling well. I hated it. I hated rugby. Football... Football, uh, it was all right, because I could just sort of stay near the corner and, and not bother. <laughs> But rugby, they were like, no, you got to get in there. I'm like, I don't, I don't want to. <laughs> I don't want to. I don't want to do anything. So yeah, I was always, oh, I was always so ill on PE days. Funny that. You are maybe perhaps possibly looking forward to seeing the end of this game. Me too. They more or less only went away from the Templars because people were believing that they were taking inspiration from the Da Vinci Code. Ah, interesting. Also, probably a bit annoying for them as well. Like, no, we did it first. <laughs> and everyone's like, oh, I see you like the book too. No. Despite Broken Sword coming out before that and Charles Cecil actually was helping with the law on the Da Vinci Code. Oh, that is neat. I did not know that. Huh. Right. Help me. Help me, little old lady. It was the lady who looked after the pissoir. Do you get paid for this? Is this a volunteer role? I have lots of questions. Hi, how are you? Alive, thank God. I know the feeling. Nice view of Montfaucon Square you've got here. <laughs> What's the point of a view when life's not worth a sou? Hey. You're not one of those crazy, hip-happening street poets, are you? Don't be ridiculous, monsieur. I look after a pissoir. That is so clearly not an old person. That's, that's, that's the sort of stuff that really annoys, annoys me. It's like when, <laughs> is when there's old accents or old impressions, but it just doesn't sound old at all. It's like a cartoon old. It's just like when you go, oh, I'm an old man. It's like just making your voice that doesn't mean that you sound old. <laughs> right? It's so bad. It's so bad. That's clearly the same voice actress as Nico. I, I, I would imagine just putting on an old lady voice. It's a fetish thing. Oh, why has she got curlers in as well? Oh. Anyway, yeah, before we talk about flobage, I like saying that word, flobage. Let's uh, let's talk about the pissoirs. So what do you do? I'm a brain surgeon. What do you think? I think you look after this pissoir. Du talon. No flies on you, monsieur. Long as I don't go in there. And just what is that supposed to mean? Huh? Whoa, my mistake. I backed off. It's a well-known fact that toilet attendants account for the majority of homicides in France. Must be the bleach blocks. What? 
You take pride in your work? This pissoir is the cleanest and most hygienic in all France. That must take a lot of dedication. Yes, sir. In this job, the harder you work, the more other people just pass water upon your efforts. I know the feeling. So, are these actual things in, in France, outdoor urinals like this? I never saw one. I mean, I've only been to Paris, but we are in Paris. I never saw one in Paris. It seems like something that probably is not really a thing anymore. But I could be completely wrong. It's just I've never seen one. It does sound classy and crude, doesn't it? It's a very strange word. Pissoir. <laughs> Blobage doesn't have the piece of hair on his forehead and a big bush bushy moustache. Is he the guy in the first uh, game that I said looked like Mario? Was that someone else? No, that was someone that was a guy outside the restaurant that blew up. I'm getting mixed up with my flabage, my French characters. You believe they are. Some are way more open than that too. I only know this because I saw a video about them. Super Flash, why are you watching videos about pissoirs? <laughs> I, I really want to Google it, but I don't want to tab out this game because it glitches out and... It's just not worth tabbing out, but I really want to Google it. In fact, I'm just going to quickly look up my phone. Ignore me. I just want to see what they look like in real life. Oh, some of them look really fancy. And some of them don't. Some, oh, some of them look bad. Oh, I do recognise some of these, actually. I just didn't realise that's what they were. They look a bit like big... Um, phone boxes, I suppose. Anyway. Anyway. Um, we're not done yet. We're, we're still on this topic. It's all very well having urinals here if I want to... Mm, but if a guy wants to... You know... You shall have to use facilities elsewhere, monsieur. As you can see, the toilets were damaged in the earth tremor. No, no, see, George, for that, you'll need to go to a poussoir. <laughs> I don't know. Have you met that road worker over there? Bah! That dog comes over here willy-nilly taking advantage of my facilities. Isn't that what your uh, facilities are for? Yes, sir, but not with such enjoyment. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think that's definitely necessary. Let's get a Mr. Sparkle in here, clean up that nasty urinal. Okay, so she doesn't like uh, flobage, which actually helps us because maybe she can do something to, yeah, distract him or... We need to use that uh, drill to open the, um, open the manhole cover. What do you mean, enjoyment? He whistles, he sighs, he spits, and... He jiggles. Jiggles, huh? Jiggles. He has no shame. That's a problem. It's a national disgrace. Well, I wouldn't go that far. I mean, it's a urinal, not a cathedral. Bah! Men, you are all the same. And when you are not jiggling, you are watching football. Go! This wasn't going to be easy. The lady clearly needed years of Jungian analysis, and I didn't have time to wait. I don't know, George... George seems like the sort of person that just throws in things like that to sound smart, but maybe doesn't even know what they mean. Jungian analysis. Anyone know what Jungian analysis is? Anyone clever? Cleverer than me. Never been to Paris, but most UK cities have unofficial pissoirs, especially on Saturdays. Is there a little old granny outside, though? That's the question. I guess that's it, then. Okay, well then, bye. I suppose that was kind of useful. I mean, it was entertaining. Oh, I think we might have to climb this, you know. This looks climbable. Do I climb up there? No. This scaffolding here looks like something I could maybe go up. Oh, it definitely is, look. Here we go.
I don't know why we're going up here, but we just like to climb. As soon as George sees a crate as well, he's like, oh, a crate. I must push it. Hey! What? Who, me? What do you think you're doing up there? Admiring the view. I can see right into your pissoir from here. Pervert! Get down from there before I call the police. Okay, okay, I'm coming. Oh. Well, what's the point of that then? Um. Do I now have to go back to the guy? Oh. Can I interact with this door? No. How about if I talk to this guy again? Does he have some new dialogue options about the old lady? Maybe he needs to go use the pissoir. Hi again. Nothing. Hmm. I didn't want anything else from the bag. What do we have on us? We have... Kind of useless stuff, to be fair. Okay. Aren't all phone boxes unofficial pissoirs in the UK? They all stink like they are. <laughs> yeah. Sad. Sadly, I think I think so. Although, I mean, yeah, as Dan says, do you still have phone boxes? We do, although most of them... Well, I don't know if it's most of them. But uh, a lot of them have been changed into... They don't actually have phones in them anymore. I know a lot of them have um, defibrillators in them. Some, I think, have... I saw a couple that are like little mini libraries, like take a book, leave a book sort of thing. Um, very few, I think, would actually have a phone in them. <laughs> but because it's like the, the red, stereotypical British phone box that they keep them up. Hey, you! What do I do? I can't interact with this anymore, can I? I left it alone. There's only so much fun you can have with a compressor. It was featured in the first scene of the 1967 James Bond spoof film, Casino Royale. Oh, that one. That one. <laughs> uh, okay, so... There's something to do with being up high, and then she sees us. Hi again. Any good gutters around here? Quoi? A gutter? Yeah, a common roadside gutter. I need to whiz, lady. A whiz? What is this whiz, monsieur? Mon dieu! You mean you wish to... in a gutter? But monsieur, you have already used the facilities. Don't remind me. It's just that when nature calls, there's sometimes a bit of an echo. You know what I mean? Why, in the name of all that is hygienic, do you want to use a gutter? When there is a perfectly clean pissoir here. That might pass for clean in the old world, lady. But I'd rather whiz in a gutter any day. This is an outrage. I shall investigate. You do that. Oh. Well, okay. Oh, I can move. Maybe I should... Oh, crap. Am I being timed? Maybe I should have done this earlier. Okay, now I guess I do this, because she's not going to be looking. Quite why we're going up high though. Don't know, change into suicide boxes. Sadly, I think they would be uh Well, hidely ho, neighborino. You know, our, our generation, it's not looking good, our future. Maybe future armor wasn't so far off of that. Okay, down. 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 Give me that. You never know when you might need a length of rope. And then... So we have rope. All that for some rope. Back up then. Hey! 
You up there? Oh, hi there. I will not have some peeping Tom spying on my customers while they do their business. Hey, I'm not spying on anybody. Want to explain that to the police? Uh, no, not really. Coming down. Mega Parasect, hello, by the way. Hi, diddly ho. All right, so we've got some rope. Oh, there's a fountain as well. There wasn't a whole bunch I could do with the fountain except admire it. Can I tie the rope around it? Why do I want to do that for? I don't know. What do I want to do? Do I want to maybe tie the rope onto this and yank it out? There was no anchor point to tie the rope to. That's what I mean. Maybe we have to tie it to the vehicle. But that kind of lets me know that, yes, this is the right thing to do, I think. I think. What if I... No. What do we tie it to, then, I wonder? There's some bollards here. Tie it to a bollard? No. I wasn't leaving here until I had something to show for it. We're up to urinal puzzles now. Yep. The bar is ever lowering. Think comical. I'm not funny. Maybe we have to give it to the old lady. Attach it to see, we're on the same length here. Uh, have the rope. Ah, doesn't even want to say anything. That was such a stupid idea. See, I think tying it to the truck. Am I just missing a hot spot for where I can tie it to? Let's have one proper go around. No, okay. Hi again. Damn it. Okay. What have we got? Let's just see, can it, is it a combinable thing with anything? Let's just check. Oh. Oh crap, that's the wrong one. There we go. Rope tied to sewer key. Brilliant. So then with that, can we use it now? I didn't have the horsepower to lift that cover, but I knew something that did. Hey! What are you doing? Just setting something up. You'll love this. You've anchored the van. Let me ask you a hypothetical question. Your driver... Alphonse, damn his cowardly liver. ...is scared of earthquakes, right? What would he do if there was an earthquake right now? He'd slam the truck into gear and get out of here like... Oh. That's right. With a manhole following him home. He would never leave it down. Is that a bad thing? No. That's what sells your crazy scheme to me. Great, okay then. I'm not quite sure why he's so on board with this. Maybe he just wants to get rid of him. Can we just scare him then? Oh, here we go. Earthquake! Earthquake! <laughs> oh my god, was he a zombie? <laughs> Magnifique! I don't know what I'll tell the insurance people, monsieur, but it was worth it. Sprinkling sunshine into people's lives. I guess that was what I lived for. But right now, the sewer beckoned. Oh, lovely. Lovely stuff. Back in the sewer we go. Uh, hey, Mark, are you a fan of old games such as Crash Bandicoot, Super Mario 64, or Spyro? Yes. Yeah, definitely. I used to play... These... Uh, I say yes, but I actually have not played any of the, the, the Crash remakes. Or the new one. I've not played the Spyro remakes. Even though I've got them, 
I think they were in a humble bundle one time. Uh, Mario 64. I did play a bit of that in. Um, what was that? What was that trilogy called? Super Mario. The 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 three pack that they did on the Switch, which had um, 64, Sunshine, and Galaxy. Played a fair amount of 64 on that, but then you just remember how frustrating it can be. <laughs> and I got annoyed and stopped playing it. But um, All-Stars, yes, thank you. Yeah, 3D All-Stars. But yeah, questioned. Um, I used to play Crash a fair bit. Spyro, not as much. Although I bet I would find, if I was to go back and play Spyro now, I bet I'd find it hugely nostalgic. Like the music and everything. The mu I say everything. Mainly just the music. Like the music was so good for um for Spyro. Right, down we go. Spyro Year of the Dragon, I, I remember Spyro uh, yeah, Spyro 3 was the one I played most. Oh wow, this this is yeah, I remember this, because there's a thing over here that we went wasn't it the door back here? Yeah, or was this a door or was it just a Yes, with the skull on it. I remember. A big spooky skull stared out at me. The mouth looked out of proportion. I didn't like the idea of putting my hand in the skull's mouth. But hey, what the heck? I was only risking mutilation. No blade took my hand off at the wrist. And no spider bit me, for which I was very grateful. But there was nothing in there to help me either. Hmm. Okay. Then we didn't, yeah, we looked at these on the wall. But what do we do with them? This archway had been bricked up and not that long ago either. No mystery there. I was the one who wrecked the original in the first place. Oh, well, there you go. There's our answer. The Spyro remakes are great. Never got into the originals, but love the remakes. The thing I'd heard about the remakes with Spyro is that the first one's really good, but then you could tell that they had to rush the second and third games. Um, so, the yeah, those aren't as good in quality. I'm sure they're still fine, though. Mario Sunshine was much better on Switch than the old school GameCube. I'd never know, to be honest. I never actually had a GameCube, but um, I think I streamed. Did I stream Mario Sunshine very briefly? I think I streamed it one time and I got annoyed, <laughs> and so I stopped. <laughs> I'm very impatient at times. I left the ancient archway alone. Oh, what am I meant to be doing down here, then? There was nothing I could do with the ancient archway that wouldn't have upset archaeologists. The inscriptions in the arches probably once told the truth about the extermination of the Templars. Like a lot of truths, time had blurred it. Hmm. Oh yeah, that one actually is blurry. This one's not as blurry, though. There was a faint inscription, but the decaying plaster made it almost impossible to read. I could make out some medieval French and some Latin, but not enough to squeeze out any meaning. Why are we here? That's what I want to know. Hang on, where's the notebook? The tin cup Oops. smelled of moldy leaves. No, 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 no. Where's our notebook? I've actually sort of lost track of what we're even doing. Uh, oh, we're way past that. Way past that. We still hang on. Let's just go to the end and then work backwards. So, Cesaro believes Saint Stephen chapter of the Templars have the. Oh, that's right. So we're looking for the key still. He's going to Paris to get it. Petra has been ordered to take Bruno to the armillary. Map on Cesaro's wall as dragon. So that's the Egypt thing. Okay, the Saint Stephen chapter used to have their base near Mont Montfas Montfasson. According to Lobino. Okay. Gotcha. Think. 
So we're still trying to find this damn key. The remake of Spyro was such a slap in the face. Only the first one was on the actual disc or game cartridge for two and three. No, no download, no game. Doesn't surprise me though, to be fair. Didn't notice a difference with two and three, but I played it after they did a load of patches. Okay, so I mean, yeah, that that was uh, something that I remember hearing quite early on, once the games had come out. So they could they could have patched it or something. I don't know whether it was necessarily. Um, like bugs and things and like issues in that way but maybe just a, a general sense of the quality of the remake not being as good uh it, like, with creatively perhaps i don't know like i say never played them but i've got them and Joe, you know, the most annoying thing is like i remember looking through my um games library and tagging what would be good games to stream and maybe ones to record and so on and so forth. And I think I I even at the time was like, okay, Spyro and Crash, I can stream those one day. That'll be fun. And I, that was like three years ago now. I still haven't done it. Blumenek. Okay, so do we need to put something in the skull mouth? A key? The skull's mouth had the same shape as the stone cylinder. Oh, there you go. That's a good guess. Ha! I could write a book on secret doors. I really could. Locked doors, maybe. Oh, wow. Look at this place. I just realised that all the places have the same sort of layout, don't they? They all look the same. There's all these corridors. Under the stage. In the castle. And now here. Oh my god! Something truly nasty had happened here. A trail of blood led round the corner. Is that blood? Why does it look so dark? There was a large pool of blood on the floor. We weren't talking chickens here. A trail of blood led away. Either someone had crawled away or been dragged. I suppose blood does, does dry quite dark, doesn't it? Oh dear, it's a bit gruesome. Uh, and then they went that way. Ooh! Now this is more like it. This is the more this is the angles I want. Dramatic angles like this. Look at that. That looks enticing. This these do not. Oh, I hear rats. Let me go in there. I wasn't gonna get through there in a hurry. The bars were several inches thick. Fine. Fine. We'll carry on. There's like a map or something at the end. Ooh. Oh, no, wait. Went in here. I'd arrived too late. Cesaro and his men had shown no mercy for these poor souls. How could anyone do this? Oh, damn. <laughs> wow, okay, they're just going with loads of dead bodies. I didn't think they'd... I didn't think that would necessarily be the case. But no, they're all just dead. Oh dear. Cesaro's men had shown no mercy. A fire had been burning. It was still smoldering. The attack must have happened within the last few hours. A fire had been burning. Okay. Was that a chessboard? An unfinished chess game. There were only two pieces left. A bishop and a king. It was a no-win situation. Is this a clue? Probably not. I just wanted to leave him in peace. Oh. 
poke them. <laughs> Wait a minute, where's my poking stick? Aha. Uh -huh. What would happen if I actually do try something like that? Not this time. No, good. <laughs> good. This isn't like stand by me. We're not going to go find a dead body to go poke with a stick. It was one of the Templars. He'd been badly beaten. It has got dark pretty quick. The sink was full of dirty used mugs. The attack had obviously been sudden and unexpected. Interesting to know that most music in the 90s used sample CD, including Spyro. Most of these samples are still sold online, surprisingly. Most of it. Really? I'm trying to think of the guy's name that did um, did the Spyro soundtracks. He was a he was in a band, wasn't he? It's like he was a famous guy. I don't know what I'm saying was. I think he's still alive. In fact, um, I saw quite recently stuff about the Spyro music because lots of people's gameplays and and let's plays on YouTube are now all getting a uh, copyright matched, like claimed um, with adverts on them and stuff. Because they recently um, put the Spyro songs on um, online, like in an official format. And because of that, they've also added it to the sort of bot, you know, the music bot that matches. So um, there's a couple of YouTubers that I watch, or I used to watch, don't really anymore, um, putting videos up about, oh, you know, all of our videos getting claimed that, you know, same old story, but now it's with Spyro music instead. The microwave's oven control panel was smashed, but the 10 second button was still intact. Only useful if you needed to cook something for less than a minute, of course. Do I want that? I decided not to operate it. It was a very expensive coffee machine. Cesaro's men had smashed it up pretty good. Okay, that's it. I guess they it. didn't like coffee. That is the final straw. You come in here and where to find a key, Solomon? Fine. You kill all these innocent men? Fine. But you smash up the coffee machine? That is too far. I better save, actually. I've not saved in a long time. <laughs> oh, man. Right. Uh, I know where situation... Because they died. <laughs> True. That is true. Unless they're playing in heaven. Um, so there's actually nothing to do in this room, apart from look at the dead bodies. Nothing to pick up anyway. What about the other room? Oh. Oh, uh, Amazon. Go get our Amazon package. No. Oh, it's a shower. Okay. That's a bit weird, but we don't really need that right now. Why is there a shower room down here? That's that's really weird. Was he in the police? I don't know. Since you didn't want to answer, Google says yes, they do piss in telephone booths. What? Okay. Um. I drink coffee. Oh, yes. Oh, don't get me started, Max. Right. So what I do is I've got a sage machine, got a little sa sage bambino, bought it at the start of the pandemic and thus begun my, my coffee adventure. And that led the way to getting a coffee grinder to grind whole beans, because honestly, if you're going to have coffee, you want it nice and fresh. Grind the beans yourselves. Have that right next to it. Um, can't remember the model of that, but got a nice grinder. In it goes, grind the beans. Then you need to tamp, tamper the coffee. Tamp or tamper, I can't remember which one. Um, but for that, I also get a distributor tool, which is one that you like go on it and you turn it a bit and it flattens and evens out the coffee so you don't get any um, bad extractions. So you do that. I know some people, they have like a little forky thing that they use to aerate the coffee grounds and then that also helps with the, and then you put it in, lock it in. Um, you want around about a two to one ratio of grounds to espresso at the end. Good crema. <laughs> are you keeping up um <laughs> i usually go for around 16 17 grams of coffee 
32, 35 grams of coffee at the uh, of espresso. Um, milk wise, used to go with green milk, semi skin milk, but now oat milk. Oh, oh, so good. Oatly, oat milk is really, really good in coffee. Um, you get the idea. I love coffee. I wouldn't say I'm very good at it, and I can't do latte art to save my life. But I do like. I do like making it. It's a whole little thing. It's a whole little thing. I, I like the whole little preparation of it. It satisfies me. Just as I'd feared, Cesaro had arrived first. One of Cesaro's men was guarding the kitchen. I couldn't get through while he was there. I was going to have to find a way to distract him. Um... What are we going to do to distract him? Toilet in the street, shower in a catacomb. Why not? And then you might... Now, listen here. I am actually not against the idea of microwaving a coffee. Or is he? Some people say, ew, you can't do that. Why would you microwave a cup of tea? Why would you microwave a cup of coffee to bring it back up? Why not? I mean, it's just water at the end of the day. Silly Americans, they don't have kettles. Like, don't, don't they actually use microwaves and stuff to boil? They're weird over there, but I don't blame them. I don't blame them. If it's got to be done, it's got to be done. I feel like we need to do something in here to make a noise or distract. It was too beaten up to work. My heart was racing enough already. I didn't need coffee. He stole our green shirt. Technically, we stole his. It was too beaten up to work. Okay, fine. I thought maybe if I kept on trying to use that. Um, how am I going to distract? I don't know. I don't know why kettles aren't really a thing in the States. There's probably a reason for it, but... Don't they also have like a lower um, voltage as well? So it would take longer to boil. Because isn't that thing like over here, if you ever get a an American product and you don't get a step down transformer, it can usually blow up because it can't handle the, the voltage. Right, what am I going to do here? Moon him. <laughs> Where's the moon button? Uh, I mean, we have got some boxes. Don't think we need to use these just yet, though. They haven't discovered electricity. They're trying their the best. The guard was still in the kitchen. They're trying their best. Uh, silly yanks. <clears throat> right, um... This isn't going so well. I might need to go... There was another way I could go, right? If I didn't follow the blood. That was that gate. But also down here, wasn't there another room that I missed? Yeah, see, I didn't go straight on. Haha. -ha. Oh, what do we have in here? The door was ajar. I could hear voices. There were a couple of Cesaro's men, and they had brought a dog. You hear something? Nah. How much longer we gotta be here? Like the boss says, till it's all over. Or till that yank turns up and we kill him. Yeah. And no guesses which one I prefer. Me too. I hate that guy. Well, now, let's be accurate, eh? You hate everyone. True. True. I couldn't risk attracting their attention. That is such a cliche. British people don't say the word yank. Honestly. Honestly. Um, <laughs> uh, right. Surely that dog would have smelt us as well. We're literally right behind. Smelt us or heard us. Come on now. 
Stuart Copeland was the musician who did the original Spyro. That's right, Stuart Copeland. He's from the He is from the police. Oh, okay, yeah. This puzzle is a this puzzle is a bit eh. Mm. That's how I've felt for a lot of them, to be honest. Oh, angry Scottish chef. I wonder how he's doing back in the castle. Kick him slash her. Oh no. It has a 99.99% chance of him getting killed, but that 0.01% is pretty good. Maybe they'll be just... Maybe maybe George has got a really nice butt, and they'll just be like... That 0.01% is them going, wow. And then that's when you have the chance to strike. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just trying to think here. So what did George say to Sen? I would have been caught if I'd gone through the door. I had to find another way in without being seen. Right, so that's going to be back in the uh, back in the kitchen then. So the only reason why we came down here was just to know that we should have stayed where we were, basically. Wait, we can use the blood. I wasn't going to dip my fingers in this stuff. It was still fresh. That makes me think, do we need to put something in the blood? Oh, bloody boxes? That wasn't such a good idea. Oh, I agree with that. What about... I don't know. Piece of string? It was a piece of string. You never know when string might come in handy. Hmm. I was beginning to sound like my grandfather. And, uh, I don't know. That doesn't really seem very... But it's just the fact that it's got the hotspot. But maybe that's just a... Well, no, but it has got the use icon, which makes me think we have to use the blood. Oops, no, don't do that. Put that back. What about... Do we still have that cup? There wasn't a reason to try that. No, okay. Uh... Not this time. I don't really know what my thinking is here, but I just think maybe we have to use it. That wouldn't work here. No, okay, we'll come back. We'll come back. Yeah. I'm a bit stumped with that. Order them a coffee. Oh. Like, look, I'm, I know that I'm the guy that you're meant to be searching for and kill on site, but I've made you a really nice oat latte, oat milk latte, and I think you're going to like it. So just have a sip of this, and then as you go to hand it to the coffee guard, you throw it in his face to scalding water. And then moon him. See, we can use this as well. The microwave suddenly sprang into life. It was going to make a noise. I had to hide. Fast. Um, here? Uh-oh. I don't think we hid. Does this count as hiding? We're in the corner. <laughs> Shot off screen. <laughs> oh. Okay, so at least now we know that that is the right thing to do. We just need to know where to hide. Where do I hide? Can I hide in here? Nope. So when the time comes... Oh, in the shower. Maybe I have to run across the room and into the shower. Oh, it needs a latte art, I see. Um, maybe I'll try that. Maybe I'll try and run across. The microwave suddenly sprang into life. Go, go, go. It was going to make a noise. I had to hide. Fast. Okay, I think we'll be safe in here. Looks good to me. Run. Run, George.
No! What the hell? <laughs> I ran as fast as I could. Oh man. I did that as quickly as I could. Did I, did I get caught in anything? I don't think I did. You are dead. <clears throat> this could do with a fart button. Press it, George does one so pungent everyone faints. I feel like... <laughs> I think it'd be funny if Nico could do that. I don't know why, I just think it'd be funnier. The microwave suddenly sprang into life. It was going to make a noise. I had to hide, fast. So does that mean that, oh, get in. Oh my God, stop getting caught on walls. Is that close enough to count? Okay, that's close enough. Whew. I guess I've just got to be better. Because we did almost make it, so maybe it was just a case of being ever so slightly faster. Go, 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 go. No dilly-dallying. No, okay, that's not the right thing to do. Do we need to lock him in? Maybe we need to lock him in, because I think you can close the door. I think. Can you interact with the door? You can. Okay, we're gonna lock him in this time. Don't worry, folks, I've got it. The microwave suddenly sprang into life. It was going to make a noise. I had to hide, fast. Get in there, George. Oh. Third time's the charm. There we go. Is that locked? Or did we just... Oh my god! I just presumed that we'd locked it. Hang on then, do, I, do, do, do we have a key though? That's a good question. Oh, or could we maybe use the string to lock the door or something? I don't know. How can we keep the door shut? Maybe we should inspect the door a little bit. This was one serious door. It looked strong enough to hold a wild bull. Hmm. Really? Um. Let's just let's just test some things. If I do, oh wait. That wasn't the right approach. No, we can't use that to lock it. What about a bit of... Why would a bit of string lock a door? I don't know. No way was I doing that. No way was I doing that. Hmm. Well, I don't know. If the door's closed... Well, we, we need to go in and do the microwave, so that's not going to be useful. Gar comes in, looks at the microwave. We can go and we can close the door, but he still he still opens it, so we need to block the door with something, maybe. Where's our emergency crate when we need it? Yeah, we really should have kept the outfit, shouldn't we? That would make this a whole lot easier. Hmm. I gotta say, I'm a little bit stumped with this. I don't want to keep doing it and keep dying. Go check the pockets. I didn't want to, but I had to search the body. Oh, did I not do this? I guess I didn't do this before. 
The only thing on him was an old rusty key. Ah, okay. Thank you, Max. I probably would have taken far too long. Oh, yeah, he's the only one that had a search icon. Was he seriously the only one I didn't look at? <laughs> I think he was. Okay, then. Right, let's save. Now we know what to do. Are you ready, folks? Fourth time is the charm. The microwave suddenly sprang into life. It was going to make a noise. I had to hide, fast. Genius. Okay, we haven't got long, so I've got to be quick with this. Close the door, use item, lock. Go, go, go. Close the door. Uh oh. Use. Mission accomplished. The guy was now trapped in the room. Hallelujah. Oh, and that's it. Back to Nico? No, just done. All right, let's definitely save now. Thank you very much. Can we hear him in there, I wonder? I could hear the guy muttering to himself. He sure didn't sound happy. Hmm, quite right. Silly bint, one could say. Right, what do we have in this room? Very good! Very good! Yay! Thank you, thank you. The guard had sat down to a hearty meal. Beans, egg, some chicken. How could anyone sit down to eat a meal surrounded by this carnage? Hey now, a guard's got to eat. Even with the murder. In fact, that probably made his appetite even even more. It looked like an old map of Europe. Had to be 500 years old. Neat. What's going on over here? Is this... <gasps> Wait. Scottish chef? Is he going to return? Some cast iron pots with broth simmering in them. Sweet smells wafted over. On the shelves were a mixture of canned foods and game. Hmm. Pheasant and beans. A Stobart family favourite. Well, I'm sure we've got a bit of time. Maybe we could just whip one up quickly. I am a bit peckish. Can I just get through there? No, I can't. Okay. Oh, getting caught on the table. That's great. Oh, wait. Oh, is that a door back there? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Completely missed that being a doorway. Ooh. Game. Hung, ready for skinning and cooking. The Templars lived well. Rabbit, pheasant. Hmm. Not really my style. I'd rather have some cheap sausages, please. The cheaper, the better. Actually, that's not even true. I'd say I'm I'm mostly vegetarian now, really, to be honest with you. Uh, that being said, I did actually have a barbecue this weekend. But aside from that, I very rarely eat. That meat. was strange. The blood trail led to the wine rack, but then completely disappeared. No pool of blood. No body. No nothing. Look at all that wine. Wait a minute. Is there a secret code in the wine colours? Look at that. Squint your eyes, everyone. Blue, the blue, the red. Yeah, yeah, they're the yellow ones. That's definitely a clue. I know it. Well, actually, it might be a clue. Hang on. We've got to put them out in the right order.
Damn, that's not right. No, that's not right. What is right, though? Um, so what, we got two reds, a yellow, a blue, and a white. That's a green one over there as well. Oh, no, wait, is that yellow or is that green? I could be getting my colours completely mixed up here. And actually, before we do that, let me just have one last check around the room. I didn't really look on this side. I went straight for the game. Barrels full of hops and beer. It looks like the Templars even brewed their own beer. This is my sort of room. Wine, beer. Okay, no, so there's nothing else in here. So let's have a little looky here then. What, what am I seeing? Um, what am I seeing here? Not much, to be honest with you. I'm not seeing any sort of pattern. I mean, there's loads of blues in that corner. Some reds over there. Look at them. Look at them. Check the note. Oops. Come on. All the way to the end. Um... No. We're at the end. I suppose you could maybe go from I bet this is really frustrating if you know the answer and you're just looking at me just watching me gormlessly wondering what to do what? <laughs> I really want to move this ladder this ladder's annoying me. I wish I could move it. I hear rats as well. Maybe that's a part of the clue. Do I have any other things to check? No. Maybe I should look at them first. Did I actually look at them before I started using them? It was a bottle of Italian wine. Modena Lambrusco. Okay. How about that one? It was a bottle of French wine. Chateau Berlantois. Okay, so we've got Italian, French. It was a bottle of Israeli wine. Carmel Sauvignon Blanc. Okay. It was a bottle of French champagne. Montagne de Rennes. It was a bottle of German wine. Wiesbaden. So there was two French, but one was champagne, Israeli, Italian, and German. So is the is it going to be the order of... Is it going to be as simple as alphabetical? That seems a bit lame, but... It was a bottle of French champagne, Montagne de Rennes. But it's not going to, it's not going to ask me to do it in, like, geographical order, is it? I don't know whether... I don't know about that. I mean, I guess I could know the basic of, like, if you wanted to go from left to right or something, but... It was a bottle of Italian wine. Modena Lambrusco. Order. Order. It was a bottle of French wine. Chateau Berlantois. Okay, 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 okay. Hang on. So that one started with... It was a bottle of Italian wine. Modena Lambrusco. So Italian, Modena. Do I actually need to write this down or is it should it be quite self-explanatory? What did you miss? Not much. We're stuck with some wine. 
there's a secret door behind here, but we have to open the wine in a particular order to get through. See, the fact that there was that big map. Did I look at that big map properly? In that other room? Let's go back and just have a double check. It looked like an old map of Europe. Oh, okay, no, that's the most I can see of that. It looked like an old map of Europe. I thought there might be something there with, I don't know, European places. Although I suppose one of them was from Israel, so <laughs> that doesn't really work. All right, let's go back. At one point, I thought the colours looked a bit like a number. But I don't know if that's right. And also, something that's quite interesting is they don't the way that you look at them, they don't go necessarily the way that it, you would think so. So it goes from that one, to that one, to that one, and then that one, and then that one. So maybe that's the order. It's worth a shot. Then it was that one. Damn, that's not right. Darn. Okay, I got it wrong. Yeah, that was that was what it said though. What's this? What's that code? Green bottom, red right, red left, green left, and blue up. Is that the actual answer or is this a clue? What was that one? I can't look at it now, can I? It was a bottle of Italian wine. Modena Lambrusco. There you go. Oh, that was right. Hey, presto! To my delight, the wine rack moved to reveal a secret passage. The blood trail continued. So, what was that then? What was the, what was the reasoning behind that being the answer? Was it something to do with the, or it must have been something to do with the countries? Check notebook. Uh Oops, oh crap. Oh, right. I see the, the, the route the, the knight took. So he went from Israel to Italy to Germany to Rhymes. And then I see, I see. Wow. <laughs> I don't know if I would have got that, to be honest. 
That's a clever. That's a clever puzzle. I suppose. Ah, Stobart. We knew you would come. Hey, you're the guy who mugged me outside the theater. We had to have the key of Solomon. Now listen to me. Suzaro is more powerful than we thought. There isn't much time. You must find the others. Protect the key. Where is it? Look for the statue. It hides the... Hides what? I wasn't going to get any more from the guy. You know what I want to happen? I'm sure, I bet this has happened in some film or comedy or whatever. In these situations, uh, when someone is dying and they're giving you this really vital piece of information and they're like, and the location of the secret treasure is at... Uh, and then they die. <laughs> What if they don't die? So it's like, the location of the secret treasure is it's St. Stephen's Chapel. And then they're just there, like, looking at each other. I'm like, so, thanks for that. Um, I kind of need to go and find it now, because it's important, but, but you're dying. So <laughs> do you want me to stay, or <laughs> do you want me to call an ambulance? And it's like, no, it's fine. It's just like, why, why, why is it always on that last line? I couldn't find any clues. Whatever he was trying to protect, it was clearly worth laying his life down for. Right, all right, well, that's a sad story, but let's move on. So many secret doors. Like everything's a secret door in this place. You just never know. The door had closed behind me. It was at times like these I wished I didn't walk through every open door I encountered. The broken clock had stopped at 3.42. Cesaro's men must have been here for at least an hour. They must have been desperate. Hardly anything had been left untouched. The clock was smashed so badly it was beyond repair. They'd looked everywhere for the key. I hope they found it. You hope they found it? Really? The clock was smashed so badly it was beyond repair. Okay. What else have we got in here? Anything interesting? Doesn't look like it. Ooh. I feel like we're in uh, Buddy Goldeneye. It's <laughs> getting these big camera sweeps of where to go. Right, let's save. What do you want? Tell the important dialogue in the FT and talk for us. <laughs> yeah, give him some company. What's in here? It was a large illuminated Bible. Each handwritten page must have taken days. If Grandpa Stobart could see me now, he'd sure be proud. Closest I've been to a Bible in years. Guess I just preferred thrillers. I like this version though. It had some pretty pictures in it. What do you want me to do with it, George? If Grandpa Stobart could see me now, he'd sure be proud. Closest I've been to a Bible in years. Okay, so... Uh, maybe use the key? That wasn't the right approach. Can that guy really not see us? Uh, what about this key? There wasn't a reason to try that. No. Okay, let's just carry on sneaking then. Wait till he turns around. Oh, he's cold. Okay. Good. Uh oh. Stop. Do 
shiver a little bit. Yeah, there you go. Run. Oh, damn, I was too quick. I was too, that was me just being impatient. Go, 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 go. If I was changing my clothes out of nowhere, exactly. You'd just be on the toilet. Secret door from nowhere. You'd be in a pissoir. Suddenly, secret door from nowhere. Okay, now. Oh, damn it. I think it's because I'm running. I'm running, which is obviously being noisy. I need to shift. Just shifting is so slow. But I need to shift. I mean, here, I'm, I'm fine running here for some reason. Doesn't care about running here. I guess it's because he's further away there, so that does make sense, actually. Okay, don't run. Nope, he still saw me. Oh, boy. This is what I love playing point and clicks to do stealth. This is the exact reason why I play point and clicks. For this reason. It's not puzzles. No, no, no. I hate puzzles. I hate puzzles. My favourite genre is stealth. Is this even the right thing to do? Ah! <laughs> Don't shoot me. I'm just having a little look around. Honestly, can I just throw the boxes in his face? Oh, this this is why I still I think I still need to use the Bible maybe. Right, I'm gonna try again. Damn it, I didn't even go that far out when he saw me. That was a good test though. That just means that that's definitely not the right thing to do at all. Although I did get further when I snuck, it's just I think I was too slow. So, do I just have to sneak and I'm just doing it badly? I feel like that might be the answer. Do I need to go closer to this white thing? What? All right, that was cheap. That was a cheap. That was a cheap death right there. Do you think I'd have to wait longer? Maybe I do. Maybe I do. Let's just get up here and have a look. Just in one point and click, I'd like to see a scene where for some reason the character goes through a secret door and another character's in the toilet having a dump and the character tries to ask those questions. <laughs> I could see that happening maybe in a uh, Monkey Island or something. Maybe a bit more... Um... Oh, no, okay. That's not working. <laughs> Can you hand me the toilet roll? <laughs> um... What's that definition about insanity? Oh yeah. Can I save back here? That would be a lot easier. Let's try that. Or Leisure, Leisure Suit Larry, which I still haven't played yet. I could see that being in that game. What are you talking about? Oh, never more. I'm going to try and sneak just around. Can I interact? No. 
Okay, he sees me there as well. That's fine. Does it put me... I mean... Oh, don't, don't save. Is it actually any point? No. Oh, never mind. It's fine. Wait a minute, that guy's already there. Um, is he gonna see me? Okay, right. That was that was just premature. Well, we've reached we've reached a uh, uh, not great part of the game <laughs> for me anyway. Um, what? Uh, what? No. Hey you! No. <laughs> um, I wasn't here. <laughs> That's so weird. That is so weird. Why here? Um, let's just quit. Let's just quit, shall we? Do not save the current game. Load game. Catacombs. Thank you. All right, that was very odd. Judo chop. Uh, isn't that also the definition of gaming? Doing the same thing repeatedly, hoping this is the one time you don't fail. True. I mean, that's exactly what I'm doing right now. That was way back in the in the Prague Hello, castle Joe. bit. That was very strange. Real monkey. Hello, welcome. Sneaky, sneaky. Not so sneaky, sneaky. Deady, deady, more like. Bloody hell. Well, at least it's loading me in the right place this time. Wait a minute, maybe I don't go back there at all. Oh no, I got shot by the other one. <laughs> <laughs> Poor George just can't catch a break here, can he? Stay out the light. Ah. I see. Okay, good. Yeah, if if I got glitched somehow, uh, thankfully I've, I've got a couple other save states. But if I'd have got glitched somehow into that spot, there's would be like, right, that's it. Yeah, <laughs> game over. We've watched the ending. I think that's what I was going to ask, Dennis. I feel like you're a you're a broken sword expert. Do you know roughly how much longer there is in the game? Like, as a percentage, would you guess? Are we, like, 80% of the way through, or... 90? Okay, stay out of the light. Damn it! Damn it, damn it. I am really struggling with this bit. Oh, crap. All right, that wasn't out of the way enough. That was just right in his line of sight. Well, darn. Let's hide back here again behind this column. No, 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 no. Let's, let's, let's hide back here. Crouch. Don't see me. I said don't see me. We need a death counter here, folks. Oh, I got rid of the I got rid of the Minecraft death sound. Never mind the hurt sound. Uh, I'm just gonna hide. I feel like I'm. 
I'm in the wrong spot with the walk cycle as well. Like it used to be that he would walk down. Now he's coming the opposite way. Yeah, so it's more like now, that's it, when he turns around. No, wait, no, no, he's gonna turn around again. Go back, go back, go back. He's gonna turn around again. Yes. Okay, now we go. Spend yourself flashbacks. <laughs> oh no, where's my silencer that I won't use? Yeah, I think you might be right, uh, Alan Nevermore. I think you might be onto something there. Oh, get out of the way. So, let me wait until he goes at least past the blue. But, oh, hang on, let's just wait. Let's just wait. What's the rush? There's no rush. So he turns around as soon as he's done. So when he, when he turns around now is when we'll go. Maybe now, but he's going to turn around and see us again. But now he's further down. <gasps> Please, for the love of God. Oh, no. Don't see me, please. I don't know what to do. I'm just frozen in fear. Okay. Oh. In. In. <sighs> Get me that save button right now. Oh, Joe, you know what that's that's worthy of. More clapping, a bit more. Thank you. Right. <laughs> oh, two to three more hours at my pace. I wanted to finish it tonight. I'm gonna have to end off the stream soon. I thought we might be getting quite close. The clock was large, beautiful, and useless. It didn't work. The key to adjust the time had been left in the clock face. Okay, so maybe we have to set it to a particular time or something or other. Oh, uh, yeah, I have a feeling we have to go further down in that room with the dog and the other guard, right? Yeah, the puzzle was just wait. Just have some patience. But I just don't have that. It was a medieval tapestry depicting a knight on his horse. It reminded me of a manuscript I once found. Mm-hmm. Thing is, is like if I had just been patient to begin with, it would have saved me a lot more time. But never mind. A finely carved statue of a knight of the Templar order. Not very flattering. I can use it though. I couldn't see any levers or buttons. Oh, no, I can't. This one has a little plaque in front of it. It was a large statue of a man. Maybe this was the statue the Templar had been trying to tell me about. Below the statue, on the plinth, was a brass plaque. Okay, what does that say? The plaque indicated that the statue was of Saint Stephen. Below his name was a quote. Blessed is he that readeth, and they that hear the words of this prophecy, and keep those things which are written therein, for the time is at hand. Revelation. Now, when I was a boy, Grandpa Stobart, or to give him his full title, the very Reverend Archie Stobart, had insisted I went to Bible class. So revelation was no revelation to me. Oh no. I'm going to have to go back, aren't I, and read that bloody Bible and it's going to give me a passage number and that's going to be the time on the clock to... Oh, bloody, bloody game. Why do I play these games for? Honestly. It was a statue of a Templar knight. The statue was old. Very old. And don't mind me, I'm just going to mutter to myself for the rest of the stream. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, that's fine then. Well, we know what to do. Let's save again so we don't need to do that. Um, back out we go.
Come on. If only we, we weren't wearing bright blue jeans as well. That would probably help. I can't believe I have to do this two more times. <laughs> oh, damn it, he turns around there, doesn't he? Oh, I wasn't even paying attention. Oh, I hate this puzzle. <sighs> the thing I hate about it is it's just the. You just have to wait. It's just so slow. Alright, let's wait here then. Is this too close? He's probably going to see me. <laughs> Muttly luck, that's good actually. Oh. Go wacky races. Right, stay in the shadows. Stay here. This should be fine, right? Yeah. Then he's gonna oh then he's gonna go back down. Yes, good. Go, go, go. This grandpa is actually him from the future. What is going on here? I mean, he does get involved in enough magical, crazy stuff that he could... That could happen. I think I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait for the cycle again. Look at me, look at me, being patient. Aren't I great? Right, go. I flicked through the good book looking for the right chapter. Aha! Revelations. Now, where is it? Got it. Blessed is he that readeth, and they that hear the words of this prophecy, and keep those things which are written therein, for the time is at hand. Chapter 1, verse 3. 1, 0, oh, 3. Save, 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 save. Do not want to be doing that again. All right, 103. That's a great time. Okay, it's good timing as well because we can we're in sync with the walk cycle. Excellent. Okay. Wait, are we going to have to do this again coming out? Are they, did they make you do this four times? Or maybe they'll just cut, I don't know. I won't moan prematurely because it might be all right. But if they do, I'm gonna be annoyed. I'm gonna be annoyed. And I think that will be fair to be annoyed. All right, don't go now, because he looks this way. There you go. Silly guard. Wait for him to go down. Okay, go. Go, 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 please, just go. Oh. What was the time again? 2.54, wasn't it? <laughs> Save. 2003 was a dark time for... It really was. Why? Why is the need to do this? Surely they would have thought. Hang on. Very good! Very good! Yay! 
thank you, thank you, Max. Surely people would have thought, the makers of this game would have thought, huh, people like the Broken Sword series because the puzzles and the locations and the characters, but what they'll really love is a stealth section. The key to adjust the time had been left in the clock face. So set it to the number from the Bible. I entered the time suggested by the verse from the Bible. Chapter 1, verse 3. Nothing. I was running out of ideas. Then a sound caught my attention. Sliding statues. Ancient mechanisms. You didn't get this kind of thing back in Idaho. Behind the statue, a flight of stairs was going up. Well, here goes. Okay, good. They don't make you go back through that place again. <laughs> At least they do that. him whoa let him go come in monsieur stobart we've been expecting you who are you i am the preceptor of the temple the chapter of saint stephen very good your deductions brought you here as we knew they would my deductions also tell me you've got the key of solomon we did have it briefly but alas, it has been taken again. Cesaro. He attacked swiftly and with overwhelming force. My men fought bravely, but it was not enough. A few of us retreated here to hide. A few miserable survivors. Why is the key so important? You know of the armillary? Some? Cesaro has set the armillary in motion. He will use the key to release the dragon energy in an enormous burst, which he will then harness to fulfill his own desires. So where's the armillary? Surely all we have to do is go there and turn the damn thing off. The whereabouts of the armillary have been long forgotten. Three ancient stones hold the secret to its location. Don't tell me. You lost them too? We have one stone. Show me. Bingo. I do believe we've got the other two. It is said that the three stones are linked. With the stones, there is a chance. What can I do to help? We will send our best knight, chivalrous, tenacious, and unswerving in his determination to fight evil. Well, whoever this guy is, he's going to need a hand. That is for him to decide. Neil. Wow. Us a knight? Oh, so that guy looked like the master. Hi, guys. To George. I'm Doctor Who. Are you okay? Just about. I went down below Montfaucon. They led me to a secret Templar base. And Andre, you were right. The Templars did survive. Of course. The original St. Stephen chapter. But they must have been hundreds of years old. My little chickpea. He doesn't mean the people themselves were original. Oh. Trouble is, Cesaro beat me to it. He's got the key of Solomon. He's probably already on his way to the armillary. Did you find its location? No. If the Templars ever knew it, it's long been forgotten. They did give me another of the alphabet stones, though. Another clue? Not only that, they, uh, <laughs> knighted me. What? Knighted, as in made me a knight. <laughs> Extraordinary. That's how it felt. Did they do it? With a sword? Yep. Whole shebang. Arise, Sir George. What do you think, Nico? I'm speechless. I guess if you and me were married, 
That'd make you a lady. Very funny. So what should we call you? Your Highness? My liege? Oh, shucks. Let's not be formal. Lord Stobart of Idaho will do for now. <laughs> Just walks off. <laughs> uh. Oh, there you go. George had a big enough ego. Yeah, I know. As if he needs a bloody knighthood. Whew. Well, I think as much as I really wanted to finish it tonight, maybe deep down, I knew that wasn't going to happen. Especially when I got shot at about 47 times, it felt like, with that one puzzle. Oh, look at these two in love. Why is he looking at her like that so much? Andre, look. You're creeping her out. Stop it. Stop that. Look at me instead. Can I actually get through there anymore? He would not take his eyes off of her. What a creep. What a little creep. Right, let's save. Oh boy. So I think, yeah, we are very, very close to the end. I imagine it's like the last set piece to do now in, in Egypt, but it's just getting a little bit too late for me here. This room is getting sauna-like in its temperature. Um, and I need to head off. So... We will have to finish, <laughs> we'll have to finish Broken Sword next time. And maybe, definitely, possibly, who knows, perhaps we will do. But I think we will. I think we will. I'm imagining the last puzzle to be just a giant room of crates. And George just, oh, it's just, it's just overwhelming. He can't handle it. He faints at the sight of so many crates. Um... But yeah, I do want to finish this game because I do want to do some other games. Like I say, I want to play some other stuff. Do some more one-off streams as well, I think will be um, on the table. Anyway, um, that is going to do it for now. In terms of stuff coming out, I think... I don't know. There's a, I, recorded, um, I recorded a couple of uh, hit-and-run mods today, which was quite good. Um, so one of those will probably, probably be out soon. And I've been recording videos for this this new series. It's not it's not a massive one. It's just like a little bit of fun. Um, so I've got a few of those lined up. I'm not going to spoil what it is though, but maybe that'll come out this week as well. Uh, if you do everything right, about one hour left, but you likely won't. Yeah, let's be honest. It's not going to be an hour. So, okay. Yeah, we'll leave that till next time then. Um, which will probably be this time next week. Let me just tab out the game. Uh, and say thank you very much to everyone who came along and watched tonight. Thank you for all of your hints and tips as well. Um, and for putting up with me not being great at some puzzles. Uh, I'll be back this time next week. But until then, have a good week, everyone. See you next time. Bye-bye. Well, hidely ho, neighborino.